welcome to this first opinion veterinary ultrasound case. So this case was a 12 year old male neutered Australian Shepherd dog with a history of chronic large intestinal diarrhea. So looking at the ultrasound images uh, we can see uh, this is taken from the um, right hand side of the body and we can see this uh, large intestine coming across the screen here so this is the gas in the large intestine and we can see the wall is thickened um, around it and this is in the um, ascending and trans trans transverse colon here so here we're measuring the thickness of that wall um, it's uh, measuring at 0.67 centimeters um, it should be under um, two millimeters so very very thickened here um, and it, it appears to have lost some wall layering as well so here's a, a, a different view of it so we have the colon here uh, with its thick wall uh, following it along <clears throat> so we can see dipping down into the transverse colon there there's also some reaction around it. There's a little bit of a hyperechoic hyper fat surrounding the, the colon. And again, we've got this very thick colon, the ascending colon here, with a thick wall. And see over here, it's very thick. Okay, measuring the wall at a different point, measuring at 0.77 centimetres, um, extremely thickened and no signs of uh, normal wall layering either. So here we have that colon with its thick wall following it along that's loss of wall layering also and then we've got some small intestine with some normal wall layering so we found that the colon was thick with a loss of wall layering particularly in the ascending colon wall and also the area around the colon was reactive and hyperechoic so potentially this is uh, an inflammatory process just colitis but we're bordering on quite severe loss of wall layering and, and thickening so we need to consider neoplasia as well neoplasia in this area the most common would be lymphoma possibly carcinoma so next steps might be to take a biopsy or to take fine needle aspirate in this case